open a new project in Spline. And here we are, in the startup screen. As always, I'll start deleting this object. Close the helpers, and disable the grid planes. Alright, where should we start? Maybe we can start with the machine at the top left. I don't want this course to be too long, so let's not create everything from scratch. But instead, we can use objects from Spline Library. So, let's go back. Click on the Library tab. We'll import one of the icons in this set to our project. And it's totally legal to do this, because Spline officially provides them free. This object looks good for our machine. We can use that. Let's copy this object from here and go back. By the way, when you open a project from the library, a copy of it appears in your feed. Open this untitled. And I want to rename this project as Landing Page 1. I'll paste the object here. After that, let's reset its position. Resize the object so we can work better. And reset my camera. It'll produce balls here, so we can add two more cylinders here. Select Sphere from the drop-down menu. Let's create it right here. Look at it from the side. First, rotate it a little bit. Make it 90 degrees. Type it here. Switch camera to top and narrow here. Now, let's look at it from right. It's still too big. There. And place it inside of the square. Okay, it looks really nice right now. Duplicate this one with Command plus D and make it even smaller. Change the camera and move it to the outside. And we get the tubes just like that. Next, change the color of them. From here, let's select the color picker and we can use color here. And again, select the color right here. All right, guys, we finished the machine. Make the zoom value 100 and keep the machine smaller. Save group selection for these three objects to merge them into a group and call it machine. And we can place the machine somewhere around top left corner. Now that we're done with the machine, lock this and also make it invisible. We'll unlock it later. 